So here's a good way to build up your press if, for example, you want to jump up in size bells, but you are struggling to hit a certain given rep range. So for example, you are using a pair of 24s, you could probably rep them for 8 to 10, but then when you jump up to 28s, you barely get 4. And let's say you're trying to run first phase of kettlebell strong, which requires you to get a challenging 4 to 5 reps to start the first phase. So here's what you can do. You're going to use a pair of bells that you want to use for that given program. But rather than run, running it with a clean press, you're going to run it with a push press. So I'm going to show you the two variations that you're going to use. And each variation is going to run the first phase of whatever program you choose for one cycle and then retest. And then you can go on to the second, uh, second cycle with a second variation and then retest. So let's get right into it. For the first version, you're going to use a push press. And then you are just going to catch the bells in the rack. Okay, one more time. Catch them in the rack. For the second variation, which is a bit more challenging and will also give you the similar feeling of getting and staying tight when you do your strict press, you are going to use a controlled active negative. So please watch. Push press and then active negative back to the rack. Clean bell, push press, controlled active negative back into the rack. Okay, so there you have it. Hope this helps. Try it out. Please let me know how it goes for you.